Mother Nature or Father Creation? The three question evolutionist cannot answer. There are only two possible realities, defining the totality of one's life's purpose on Earth. The first is a harsh non-thinking power, pillared upon a set of highly improbable, if not impossible set of circumstances. By some immeasurable coincidence, your life is nothing more than a cruel cosmic fluke. Appearing briefly, then vanishing forever. The opposing viewpoint is predicated upon an ultimate creator. Whom offers hope, unique identifying destiny, a lifetime of confident self-worth and eternal assurance in the world to come. Let's examine both perspectives with analytical, non-bias, comparison fashion. Are evolutionists asking gravity to do the impossible? In his book, The Trouble with Gravity, Richard Panek quotes, We can calculate what gravity does, whether to a cup elbowed off the edge of a table, or the disk of light bent around a black hole, but we still don't have a clue what causes it. The scientific community agrees, gravity remains an ever-constant, never-changing force. If gravity were to stop for just one second on planet Earth, all the atoms in our body would separate so swiftly we would literally become nothing. However, evolutionists falsely claim gravity altered its very nature, ceasing to be an indefinite binding power. Next, incredibly redirecting itself, applying every bit of its energy, forming, then exploding, the Big Bang's immeasurable sphere. Strangely, returning to its original state, placing every single celestial body, in perfect functioning positions. A scientific impossibility to say the least. Next consideration, no one can ever, build something out of nothing. It takes an array of diverse physical elements to construct the universe. The unanswerable question becomes, just exactly where, did the Big Bang acquire all the necessary, interstellar, building blocks? That same question was asked of an atheist who said, all those intergalactic materials have always been, just there. The person asking then replied, you mean like God? The atheist was left speechless. The Big Bang could never develop its own tangible parts. Finally, evolutionists constantly claim, given enough time, time initiates life. Nevertheless, time passing only degrades and destroys both life and substance. No one has of yet proved a single example otherwise. It takes life to form life. Life always proceeds from life, never from time. Time is a variable, not a mechanism, states Alan D. Howard. Time is nothing more than itself, and nothing else. It seems the Big Bang's supporting columns of gravity, tangible building materials and time, have collapsed, crushing itself under its own weight. Once evolution is eliminated, the only answer remaining, is God. Out of the top 10 most intelligent people in the world, at least 8 think God exists. And 6 are believing Christians. Just exactly what could prompt the most intelligent people in the world to believe in God? There are two possible answers, the first is a statistical marvel within the Bible. Uniquely, the Bible accurately foretells specific events in perfect detail. Without error for many years, sometimes centuries, before they occur. Of the 2,500 prophecies in the Bible, some 2,000 have been fulfilled to the letter. 500 or so are unfolding presently. Most prophecies are independent of one another, the probabilities of all these prophecies being fulfilled without mistakes, is less than, one with 2,000 zeros written after it. To put this in perspective, the mass of all books required to write out this equation, called a Googleplex, would be vastly greater than the masses of the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxies combined. These mathematical miracles should alone give one earnest reason to investigate scriptural realities. Are there scientific breakthroughs mentioned in the Bible, centuries before they were discovered by man? Yes. Cosmology, the universe is wearing out, hence the second law of thermodynamics Psalms 102 verses 25 to 26. 
The earth hangs upon nothing i.e. gravity. Job 26 verses 7. Geoscience, billions of fossils buried by a global flood. Genesis 6 to 9, 2 Peter 3 verses 5 to 6. Biology, Louis Pasteur's law of biogenesis, affirming that life only comes from life, and life of its own kind. Genesis chapters 12, 21, 24, and 30. Anthropology, mankind possess a distinct moral conscience of natural moral laws Romans 2 verses 14 to 15. Humans rely upon reason and unchanging laws of logic 1 Timothy 6 verse 20. Medical, describes infections for diagnosis Leviticus 13 verses 24 to 25. Exactly how could the writers of the Bible document scientific evidence before discovery? Its apparent God revealed such foreknowledge to them. Only two decisions remain. A harsh cold dying universe where your life, friends and family are nothing more than a fading mirage. Or a compassionate creator offering a lifetime of hope, an eternity full of joy. Choose only one, for both options are absolutely contradictory to each other. Mother Nature or Father Creation? Isaiah 44 verse 24 Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 A Lord God. Behold, Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Ephesians 3 verse 9 And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Thank for watching, please subscribe. Our next topic, the Antichrist is here now. Contact info, lightnerjoe at yahoo.com